Welcome to another session of Integration, Integration with Partial Fractions. My name Kavitha S. Naya, Faculty of Silverless Public School, Code Code, Handling Mathematics, Class 12. In the previous session, we discussed integrals in which the integrand was of a rational function of the following forms. The form of rational function px plus q divided by x minus a into x minus b. The factors were distinct. Then the partial fraction was a by x minus a, b by x minus b. If it was px plus q by x minus a whole square, then it is a by x minus a and b by x minus a whole square. If it is px square plus qx plus r, then there are three different factors in the denominator. Then when you change to partial fraction, it will become a divided by x minus a, b divided by x minus b and c divided by x minus c. And from each form, we did two examples. Children, I hope that you might have practiced all these things. Now let us go in this session with next type. That is form of rational function is of the form px square plus qx plus r divided by x minus a whole square into x minus b. And form of partial fraction, it will become a by x minus a, b by x minus a whole square and c by x minus b. Now let us do an example to make it more clear how to do this type of question. Look the question, integral 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 3. Let us take the integrand 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 3. We can write it is equal to a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 1 whole square plus c divided by x plus 3. Now let us take the LCM both sides, 3x minus 2 divided by x plus 1 in whole square into x plus 3 equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 3 plus c into x plus 1 whole square whole divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 3. The denominators are same in both sides. Let us equate the numerators. 3x minus 2 equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 3 plus c into x plus 1 whole square. Now let us give the first factor x plus 1 equal to 0. So x plus 1 equal to 0 means x equal to minus 1. Now let us substitute in the LHS 3 into minus 1 minus 2 equal to Wherever x plus 1 comes as a factor, that part will automatically get eliminated. So, x plus 1 comes here, x plus 1 comes here. So, b into in the place of x minus 1, minus 1 plus 3, which gives 3 into minus 1, minus 3, minus 2. So, minus 5 equal to b into minus 1 plus 3 makes 2b. So, the value of b we are getting as minus 5 divided by 2. Now, let us give the second factor x plus 3 equal to 0. x plus 3 equal to 0 gives x equal to minus 3. Substituting in LHS, 3 into minus 3 minus 2 equal to wherever this x plus 3 is a factor that part will be 0. So, x plus 3 comes with a with b and remaining only c. So, c into minus 3 plus 1 whole square gives my 3 minus 3 minus 9 minus 2 
minus 11 equal to minus 3 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 whole square is positive 4. So, 4 c from this c equal to minus 11 divided by 4. Now, the remaining factor the real number a we have to find equating the coefficient of x square both sides left side the coefficient is 0 equating coefficient of x square we get 0 equal to a into x into x x square. So, coefficient of x square is a a then here no x square is present. So, here comes c into x square. So, coefficient c plus c from this we get the value of a as c goes to opposite side minus c. So, a equal to minus c but already c we found out here minus 11 by 4. So, a will be equal to minus of minus 11 by 4. So, positive 11 by 4. Now, we got the values of a as 11 by 4, b as minus 5 by 2 and c as minus 11 by 4. Now, all these values we are going to substitute in the place of this integrand. Integrand is of which form? The 3 partial fraction. I have already copied. Now, substituting values of A as 11 by 4, B as minus 5 by 2 and C as minus 11 by 4. Let us see. Equal to integral in the place of A, 11 divided by 4 by x plus 1 plus minus 5 by 2 divided by x plus 1 whole square plus minus 11 by 4 by x plus 3 dx. Now, let us split this into three different integrands. Same time, we are going to take the constants also outside and the negative sides also outside equal to 11 by 4 integral 1 by x plus 1 dx then minus 5 by 2 integral 1 by x plus 1 whole square dx minus 11 by 4 integral 1 by x plus 3 dx. Now, the first one and last one both are 1 by x form whose integral is log x. So, let us write that part first. 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 1 that is also logarithm. Here let us write this x plus 1 equal to t and simplify minus 5 by 2 integral in the place of x plus 1 I am putting t. So, differentiating with respect to x 1 equal to dt by dx or dx equal to dt. Now, let us substitute here. So, it will come 1 by t square dt and this part is minus 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 3. Now, 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 1 minus 5 by 2 integral t raised to minus 2 dt minus 11 by 4 logarithm of mod x plus 3 equal to 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 1 minus 5 by 2. Then t raised to minus 2, its integrand is t raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1. So, you will get 
t raise to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 minus 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 3. Therefore, 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 1 minus of minus plus. So, 5 by 2 what was t? It was x plus 1. So, 1 by x plus 1 minus 11 by 4 logarithm of x plus 3 plus the constant c. This is the final answer. Now, let us do another example of similar kind. Integral x square plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 2. Let us take the integrand x square plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 2 equal to a divided by x plus 1 plus b divided by x plus 1 whole square plus c divided by x plus 2. Now, let us take the LCM both sides x square plus x plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 2 equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x plus 1 whole square whole divided by x plus 1 whole square into x plus 2. Since the denominators are same, we can equate the numerators x square plus x plus 1 equal to a into x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 2 plus c into x plus 1 whole square. Now, let us give each factors 0 giving x plus 1 equal to 0 we get x equal to minus 1 x equal to minus 1 substituting in LHS minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1 equal to where you see x plus 1 as a factor that part will become 0. So, only b will be remaining b into minus 1 plus 2 gives this minus 1 and my plus 1 balanced minus 1 square is 1 1 equal to here minus 1 plus 2 1 so value of b became 1 now let us give x plus 2 equal to 0 x plus 2 equal to 0 gives x equal to minus 2 now substituting minus 2 in lhs minus 2 whole square plus minus 2 plus 1 equal to where x plus 2 becomes a factor with a with b now remain c c into x equal to minus 2 give there so minus 2 plus 1 gives here minus 2 whole square is 4, 4 plus 1 5, 5 minus 2 3 equal to here minus 2 plus 1 it is whole square. So, minus 2 plus 1 whole square means minus 1 square positive C. So, we are getting the value of C as now, let us find the remaining real part A. So, to find A, let us equate the coefficient of x square both sides. You will look here, what is the coefficient of x square left side? 1. 
equating coefficient of x square gives here 1 equal to here comes a into x into x so comes a then here no x square term remaining with c so a plus c which gives c value already we found out here so value of a will be equal to 1 minus c equal to 1 minus 3 that means value of a we got minus 2. Now we got values of a minus 2, b 1 and c 3. Now let us substitute all these values in the integrand that means in the place of this integrand we will replace by a by x plus 1 b by x plus 1 whole square and c by x plus 2 and we will substitute in the same line a minus 2 b 1 and c 3 ok equal to integral minus 3 divided by x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square then comes minus 2 divided by x plus 2 dx. Substituting the values of a, b and c equal to integral minus 2 divided by x plus 1 plus 1 divided by x plus 1 whole square plus 3 divided by x plus 2 dx. Now we will split this into 3 different integrals equal to minus 2 integral 1 by x plus 1 dx plus integral 1 by x plus 1 whole square dx plus 3 into integral 1 by x plus 2 dx. 1 by x log x, so 1 by x plus 1 log x plus 1 minus 2 log x plus 1 plus integral let us give x plus 1 equal to t, x plus 1 equal to t differentiating with respect to x 1 equal to dt by dx so dx is equal to dt integral t raised to minus 2 dt plus 3 logarithm of x plus 2 next line minus 2 log x plus 1 integral of t raised to minus 2 means t raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus t raised to minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 plus 3 log x plus 2 next line minus 2 log x plus 1 then comes here minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 divided by t raised to minus 2 plus 1 means t raised to minus 1. What was t? x plus 1. x plus 1 plus 3 log x plus 2 plus c. Final answer. Now let us do next form of rational function form of rational function px square plus qx plus r divided by x minus a into x square plus bx plus c. Second one form of partial fraction a by x minus a x b x plus c divided by x square plus bx plus c where x square plus bx plus c cannot be factorized further. Now in this form if you get a question let us see how to do it. 
5 x divided by x plus 1 into x square plus 9 is the rational part. How will we split into partial fractions? Question x 5 x divided by x plus 1 into x square plus 9 equal to a divided by the first factor x plus 1. You can see x square plus 9 cannot be factorized getting real roots. That is why we are writing b x plus c divided by x square plus 9. Now let us take LCM both sides. 5 x equal to a into x square plus 9 plus b x plus c into x plus 1. Since the when we take the LCM the denominators will be same we are equating the numerators. Now let us give x plus 1 equal to 0. x plus 1 equal to 0 gives 5 into minus 1. The value of x you are getting here minus 1. So equal to a into minus 1 whole square plus 9. When you put x plus 1 equal to 0, this part will become 0. So, minus 5 equal to minus 1 whole square means 1. 1 plus 9, 10. So, 10a gives a equal to minus 5 by 10. That means a equal to minus 1 by 2 value of a minus 1 by 2. Now there are no factors remaining here. Now let us equate the coefficient of x square both sides. Equating coefficient of x square both sides. What is coefficient of x square LHS? 0 equal to coefficient of right side a into x square so a will come then b x into x b x square so b also will come from here b equal to minus a that is b will be equal to minus minus 1 by 2 so positive 1 by 2. Now let us find the remaining c. For that, let us equate the constant both sides. Equating constants in both sides. Here constant is 0. 0 equal to a into 9 will come. 9a constant in this term. What is the constant? c into 1. So, plus c. What is the unknown? c. Value of a, we know automatically. c equal to minus 9a. That means c equal to minus 9 into minus 1 by 2. That is c equal to 9 divided by 2. Now we got the values of a, b and c. Value of a is minus 1 by 2, b is 1 by 2 and c equal to 9 by 2. Now let us substitute in the integrand respectively in the place of a, b and c. Integral minus 1 by 2 divided by x plus 1 plus 1 by 2 x plus 9 by 2 divided by x square plus 9 dx. Now let us split this. This will be only one integral. 
this will be getting split into two parts. Let us see equal to minus half integral 1 by x plus 1 dx. Now, let us take this much part that means 1 by 2 integral x divided by x square plus 9 dx. Then comes the remaining part. What was the remaining? 9 by 2 integral this is common for both 1 by x square plus 9 dx. Now, let us find the integral equal to minus 1 by 2 logarithm of x plus 1 plus 1 by 2 here you can see x divided by x square plus 9 let us put x square plus 9 equal to t x square plus 9 equal to t differentiating with respect to x 2x equal to dt by dx or we need x dx which will be dt divided by 2. Let us substitute that here. So, 1 by 2 integral x dx is dt by 2 by 2 we wrote here already by t plus 9 by 2 integral 1 by x square plus 3 square dx. We wrote 9 as 3 square. Now, equal to minus 1 by 2 logarithm of x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 log t. What was t? Logarithm of x square plus 9. x square plus 9. Now comes the next result 9 by 2 remaining. Let us write the integral integral dx divided by x square plus a square. What was it? 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. This result we will substitute there. So, in the place of a what comes? 3. So, 1 by 3 tan inverse x divided by a that is 3 plus constant. Final step minus 1 by 2 logarithm of x plus 1 plus 1 by 4 logarithm of x square plus 9 then 9 and 3 cut you will get here 3. So, plus 3 by 2 tan inverse x by 3 plus c. This is the final step. Another example of similar kind x square plus x plus 1 by x plus 2 into x square plus 1 equal to a divided by x plus 2 plus b x plus c divided by x square plus 1. Now, let us take LCM. When you take LCM, the denominators will be same. So, let us equate the numerators as previously x square plus x plus 1 equal to a into x square plus 1 plus b x plus c into x plus 2. Let us give the factor x plus 2 equal to 0. x plus 2 equal to 0 gives x equal to minus 2. Substituting in LHS minus 2 square plus minus 2 plus 1 equal to 
where you see x plus 2 as a factor here. So, that part will become 0 a into minus 2 square plus 1. Now, minus 2 square is 4, 4 plus 1 5, 5 minus 2 3 equal to minus 2 square is 4 plus 1 5 implies a equal to 3 by 5. Now, let us find the value of b and c. Let us equate the coefficient of x square both sides. LHS equating coefficient of x square LHS coefficient is 1 equal to here comes a coefficient of x square in this term b x into x b x square. So, b plus b means b will be equal to 1 minus a that means 1 minus 3 by 5 LCM 5 5 minus 3 comes 2 by 5. So, b equal to 2 divided by 5. Now, let us find c. Let us equate constant for that in both sides equating constants. What is constant in LHS? 1. 1 equal to a plus comes here c into 2, 2c. So, you will get 2c equal to 1 minus a equal to 1 minus 3 by 5 which already we found out it is 2 by 5 that was 2c. So, c will be equal to 1 divided by 5. We got values of a, b, c that values we will substitute respectively then find the integral equal to integral 3 divided by 5 into x plus 2 plus 2 divided by 5 x plus 1 divided by 5 divided by x square plus 1 dx as we did in the previous question this part we will integrate as two parts 3 by 5 integral 1 by x plus 2 dx plus taking the 2 by 5 outside from this term 2 by 5 integral x divided by x square plus 1 dx then comes 1 by 5 integral 1 by x square plus 1 dx equal to 3 by 5 into integral 1 by x plus 2 is log x plus 2 logarithm of x plus 2 plus 2 by 5 into let us give x square plus 1 equal to t. x square plus 1 equal to t. Differentiating with respect to x, 2x equal to dt by dx, x dx equal to dt divided by 2. This we are going to substitute here. 1 by 2 integral dt divided by t plus 1 by 5 into integral 1 by x square plus 1 square dx. Correct? Equal to 
3 by 5 log x plus 2 plus this 2 and 2 will get cancelled. 1 by 5 logarithm of t. What was t? x square plus 1, x square plus 1, then comes 1 by 5. As I said previously, integral dx divided by x square plus a square is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Let us give respectively in the place of a comes 1. 1 by 1 tan inverse x plus c. Final answer. In conclusion, altogether we discussed form of rational function of these types. That means Px plus Q divided by two distinct factors. Then two real numbers will be there. A divided by the first factor, B divided by the second factor. Second case, Px plus Q divided by x minus a whole square, two equal factors. A divided by x minus a plus b divided by x minus a whole square. Here in the third one there are three distinct factors. So the right side will be a divided by the first factor, b divided by the second, c divided by the third factor. And in the fourth which we discussed today p x square plus q x plus r divided by x minus a whole square into x minus b a divided by x minus a, b divided by x minus a whole square and c divided by x minus b. Now comes the last one, p x square plus q x plus r divided by x minus a into x square plus b x plus c. Then a divided by x minus a will come, then b x plus c divided by x square plus b x plus c because we cannot factorize that further. That is why it is coming b x plus c. Hope children you might have practiced all these types very well and mathematics to master the subject mathematics practice is the only key. How much you practice that much you will become expert in the subject. We will continue in the next video with integration by parts. Till then thank you.